What's up guys, this is Halo Shadow. I'm going to explain how to update the BHOP script in case uh, I'm gone and you guys want to BHOP. First of all, you want to download Cheat Engine before you start this tutorial and have it installed, alright? Here's uh, the first step that you need to do before you open your game. This is very important, don't forget this. You want to go to Library, right click on Counter-Strike Source, go to Set Launch Options, and type insecure in the box here. It's not going to be here for you. It's dash insecure. Make sure this is in here, all right? If you don't have that, you risk getting back banned. All right, if you've got all that done, open up your game. I advise opening it in a window. Obviously, mine's too big. I'm going to have to resize it. I'm going fast here because uh, I need to stay under the YouTube time limit, time limit of... Uh, you know, 10 minutes, YouTube Nazis. Anyway, here we go. What we want to do is basically open up Cheat Engine. Here you want to go on Cheat Engine, click that box up there. You may have to pause the video at some point, that's fine. Just pause it and follow my steps. After you've attached Cheat Engine to Counter-Strike, you want to create a server. Doesn't matter what map it is, it's probably good if there weren't any bots. All right, the server is going to start. Here we go. We're going to get right down to the scanning. So what you want to do is you want to turn SV possible to one, and then you want to bind a key to pause, so you can pause while you're in the air. So here's the first step. You want to jump up in the air, hit your pause key, boom, your game is paused. Alt tab out of your game. Go over to Cheat Engine here. You want to put negative one in the address box, make sure scan type is on exact value, and value type is four bytes. First scan, boom. Go back into your game, unpause, land on the ground. Alt tab out, go back to your uh, cheat engine, Turn, change your scan type to changed value, hit next scan, it's gonna reduce your values by a lot. Back into your game, repeat the process, jump up in the air, pause, alt tab out, just scan type to exact value, you're on negative one again, make sure it says negative one, hit next scan, you got a bunch of more values. Uh, unpause again. You're on the ground. Go out. Changed value. Next scan. Repeat process. Jump. Pause. Alt tab out. Exact value. Next scan. At this point, I've got 68 addresses. That's probably good enough where I can look through the list and, and figure out which one is the one I want. As I'm scrolling through the list here, only one of the addresses that I see is green, all right? is this one right here. You want a green address. Most likely, if you do this correctly, there's only going to be one green address. If you follow my steps, you should only have one. Now, you want a green, ad a green address because it has an, uh, a module offset. It's offset from a module. So you want to double click on the green address. It's going to bring it down here into your uh, other little address space. And you want to double click on the number, the address. It's going to pop up with a window, and it's going to give you the module and the offset. That's this is the basically this is the code. This is where the uh, the value for on ground is held. Every time the game starts, it's going to be in the same place. It's going to be offset by this much off of this module. So we got the first part. That's half the the fun right here. So now all we have to do is make sure that the you know the chat's not open or the console's up. Otherwise, it's going to jump while you're you know out of the game or something, or if you got your chat open. So we want to unpause, go to the ground, want to open up your console by hitting you know a tilde or escape, and then go out of the game. When a console's open, its value is one. So we want to do a new scan. Have one in the value box here. Exact value, four bytes. First scan. It's going to have a ton of values, but we want to go back into the game. Hit escape again. Alt tab out. Make sure the console's closed. It's going to be zero since the console's closed. Next scan. Back into the game. Open the console. Value is one again. Next scan. Keep repeating this process. Close console. Value is zero. Next scan. Open console. Tab out. Values one, next scan. Now you're gonna have a few values probably that are gonna be green right here. It looks like I've got two. So I need to make sure I got the right one. Looks like one of them's flickering. Alright? And it looks like when I open the chat, this one on the bottom doesn't stay one. 
So you want to narrow it down. Obviously, the one I need is the one on top, all right? Because I'm, it's open right now to the escape menu, and this one's still zero. So this is the address I want. You know, you don't want to do trial and error. Make sure you've got the right address here. And when you find the right address, it should always be green, okay? It needs to be green. You want to double click it. It's going to bring it down here. So we, I'm going to label this right here, ground, and this is GUI. All right, so here we go. This is one. This is the, you know, the address right here that we need with the offset when you click on it. What we really need is the offset. All right, that's how we find out where it is each time the game starts. But there's your address for checking if the GUI is open, and here's your address for checking if you're on the ground. At this point, you are most of the way done, and you can close your game. What I'm going to do now is browse to my folder. All right, once you're in your Lua folder, open up your BHOP script. Here it is in Notepad++. There you go. What you want to do is you've got your ground address, which corresponds to this address here, and you've got your escape address. I call it that because, you know, I normally hit escape to find it. So there you go. And that's this address here. It's the GUI. And what you want to do, basically, to update this is double-click on the address for ground. It's the one on top. And it's going to say client.dll plus and then a number. You want to copy the number, all right? Copy that number. And then right here, that's your ground address, obviously. And so you've got your ground address, and it says client base plus, and then here it, is, it says OX and then a number. You want to paste the number that you copied onto where the OX is. For some reason it didn't paste. I have to hit control V. There we go. OX and then a the number that you you uh, copied after the module on Cheat Engine. Do the same for GUI. Pull it up. V GUI uh, mat surface DLL and then plus copy the number. Alright. Then you want to paste it in after the OX on the escape address. Make sure you've got the OX or it will not treat it as a hex value and none of this will work. Um, this is all you have to do to update the script and basically I mean if you're in Notepad++ you know it this, this should be orange right here and you you know don't want to forget the OX it's the key point of the uh, updating process now you can go into the game test it make sure it works and you can post these values right here on the forum or you can even just post this little chunk you know you can go on there hey look I found the new values Halo Shadow's gone I own and I found them before anybody else there you go. That's the whole tutorial, and I hope I'm under 10 minutes or I'll have to cut my video short because it won't fit on YouTube. Hope you guys learned something, and I'll be happy to see somebody else take the workload.